Okay, Robin, this, this is not about my ego. Of course it is. Steve threatens your rock star status oh, around here. Rake, Steve is a desk jockey at best. <sighs> Come on, he does both. He managed a full surgical schedule while he ran the ER in Memphis, and he's doing the same thing here. He's taking on surgery while being chief of staff. Exactly, and guess what's going to suffer? He is every bit as good of a trauma surgeon as you are a neurosurgeon. I mean, stop acting like he's snaking surgeries from you to impress the ladies. That's exactly what he's doing. He's taking my surgery, and then he's going off into the sunset with Niles. Okay, I'm sure that's an exaggeration, but let's just say it isn't, okay? Did Lisa put up a fight and insist that you were the best man for the job? Did I... she accuse Steve of, of bullying his way into her or? Okay, apparently Steve was Lisa's first choice. Because he probably was better suited for the needs of the patient. You know how many motorcycle accident victims I've saved around here. Why are you taking this so personally? How would you like it if Lisa started taking things from you? Apparently, she's confident that you will never actually kill each other because, as Helena says, you define each other. Oh, please. That's such crap. Don't you know she's playing with your head? How would I know that? Helena is your specialty. I'm just telling you what the bitch said. I'm, I'm a, a pawn just to be thrown into dungeons. Yeah, well, about the accommodations, I'm truly sorry. I guess I should have realized... Yes, you should have. You should have realized that I am, after all, your wife. I have, after all, been missing for days, one of which was our anniversary. If you had taken your stinking eyes off of Sky for just a minute. Oh my God. You slept with Sky. I'm so glad you could meet oh, me. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. How is your stay so far? Oh, you know those Quartermains. They're an endless source of horror and amusement. But Maya brings in a hint of fresh air. It's good to be home. How's Washington, though? Frustrating. But hopefully, eventually productive. It's too early to tell just yet. Well, what happened? Well, my political connections all agree that Michael's sentence was too harsh, that he should be given community service, but at the same time, they're reluctant to help because Sonny's still free. Uh, image concerns. Yeah, if they're helping a mobster's kid, it looks like they're soft on crime. Mm -hmm. Yet another way Michael has to pay for the dubious honor of being Sonny's kid. There is some good news, though. It was made clear to me that uh, if Sonny were to be convicted for uh, another crime, for any crime, that uh, the door would be open for Michael's release. Well, I bet hearing that just made your day. I wasn't uh, one of those guys who saw himself as a father. Mostly it scared the hell out of me. Sonny Corinthos, afraid of something? Hard to imagine. I am human, yeah. Barely. It was, it was the responsibility combined with the volatility of my lifestyle, but once it happened, there was no choice. I loved Michael. He was my son, and he was the best thing that ever happened to me. And then all my other kids came, and it changed me completely. It, you know, it shifts your priorities, you know. Finally, something existed that was more infinite than me. Have you thought of having children? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, uh... Doesn't everybody at some point? Mm -hmm. I chose to put motherhood on indefinite hold in favor of my career. And eventually, on some far-off day, sure, I'd like kids. Well, I hope it happens for you sometime, you know? You get to feel that depth of connection with someone else that's more vulnerable than you, depends on you. Well, one thing that I hope that you never feel is the agony of seeing your son get hauled off in handcuffs in court and not being able to sleep at night wondering, you know, the hell he's going through. I really am sorry about Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you are, but, you know, it's not just Michael. Everybody who, who loves him is suffering. Dante feels responsible for putting him in there. His mother, angry and anguish, 
Jason, who knows how long he's going to be in there to protect them. And you can see the common denominator here. It's all about Michael. He's the only thing that matters. So I can't, I can't have Johnny coming after me with his latest antics. He, he, he doesn't, he doesn't listen to reason. He needs to be taken out of the equation now. I'd love to kill him. No, well, well, hold on here, hold on here. But I'm, I'm going to do the right thing. Here. I'm going to do the smart thing. That's why I'm working with you. Okay. We're on. I will help you take Johnny Sakara out of circulation. But do me a favor. The next time we're forced to meet, don't bother with all that father of the year garbage. It doesn't fly with me. against them, you're gonna bring him through, and then knee, right there, okay? Yeah. All right, pretty shot, I'm gonna punch. Okay. Okay? So, this way, and then knee. Go ahead, boom, perfect. Okay, come back. Now look, see, don't forget that you already have an advantage. You're young, you look weak and vulnerable. What am I trying to say? I look like a victim? Or you think I just stand there and take anything anyone dishes out and not fight back? Or Jason, you have no idea how hard I fought. 